Welcome to Jenny's channel. Today my video is on formal letter. For those who have missed out my previous video on informal letter, the link is in the description box. So let's begin. What is a formal letter? Such letters are written for official purpose to authorities, dignitaries, colleagues, senior, editors of newspapers, head of commercial or educational establishment, etc. This letter cannot be written to your friends or to your family. Formal letter. Formal letter carries fine marks. In your exam, you can write either formal letter or informal letter. Formal letters general format and marking scheme. Name, sender's address, PIN code and date. Lower class students will write in the place of name XYZ, sender's address, your own address, PIN code and date. The day when you are appearing for your exam, you need to mention that date. And higher standard, students will write the name and sender's address as mentioned in the question paper along with the PIN code. And the date, you need to mention the date when you are appearing for your exam. That carries half mark. Then children, in this formal letter, two addresses are required. One is your own and the other is the address of the person you are writing to. Uh, for example, you are writing to the headmaster. So you write to, comma, the next line, the headmaster, the school's name and the address. That carries half mark. Then comes subject, a phrase about the general content of the letter. What is the subject on what are you writing this letter? For example, maybe attending sister's wedding in Pune. Carries half mark. Then comes salutation. Salutation has to be very formal students. It can be as respected sir or madam or you can write only sir or madam. Followed by the body of the letter in two to three paragraphs. Children, the language and the tone used for such letters must be very formal to the point and respectful. The main body of the letter should consist of two to three paragraphs giving details or asking for information as briefly as possible. So it carries two mark. Subscription. End off with respectful subscriptions such as yours faithfully, yours truly, yours sincerely. From this three, any one and the name. If a lower class student has to write, you have to write X, Y, Z. And a higher class student, the name is mentioned in the question paper. It carries half mark. Correct use of grammar carries one mark. Once again, general format, name, sender's address, pin code, date, half mark. As I said, two addresses are required for the type of this letter. One is your own and the other is the address of a person you are writing to. That carries half mark. Subject, content of the letter, half mark. Salutation, respected sir or madam or only sir or madam with the body of the letter in two to three paragraphs carry two marks. Subscription, yours faithfully, yours truly, yours sincerely from this three, any one with the name half mark. Correct use of grammar carries one mark. Now we are going to learn how to write a formal letter, formal letter writing. Here I go. First I'll read it out to you and then teach you how to write it down. Reckless driving, Kalpana. Or Kiran Shah residing at Gita Apartments, Sri Nagar Nanded 431602, witnessed on July 12, three motorcycles and a car were involved in an accident here today. The motorcyclists were all boys under the age of 18. This reckless riding has got to stop. Write a letter to the Assistant Commissioner of Police, bracket traffic, complaining about reckless riding by motorcyclist in your city or town. This complaint letter to be written to the Assistant Commissioner of Police regarding the reckless riding by motorcyclist in your city or town. Here we begin. 
children as we begin with the letter in this format all the components of the letter are aligned in the left margin of the page it is aligned to the left margin of the page i begin first address first address kiran shah geeta apartments comma shrinagar comma nanded 431602 apts means apartments it is a short form i have written it from this question itself you can write kalpana or kiran shah uh, geeta apartments shrinagar nanded 431602 then you need to leave one line and write 12th august comma 2020 you cannot write it as 12 slash 8 slash 2020 that is a wrong way of writing the date then you have to leave one line second address 2 comma the assistant commissioner of the police bracket traffic this is his designation traffic headquarters not mentioned but you can write it down comma shri nagar i copied the above address nanded 431602 you can see a comma comma at the end then you need to leave one line two addresses are done now we come to the subject complaint regarding reckless motorcyclist i have highlighted this with the pencil the content of the letter then i leave one line then come salutation and the body of the letter the third paragraph is behind respected sir this is a salutation we need to write the salutation has to be very formal as i said respected sir comma then i left one line i read it out i reside at shrinagar a locality that has wide roads and broad pavements unfortunately our locality has become a danger zone because of the reckless riding of motorcycle this is the end of my paragraph children now i leave one line this means they indicates the beginning of a new paragraph so second paragraph begins many of these youths are under the age of 18 enjoying themselves and speeding on the road and pavements sometimes three or four of them are seen riding bikes together at full speed we have already witnessed seven hit and run cases second paragraph end leave and write the third i strongly suggest on behalf of the residents of this neighborhood strict patrolling to be conducted in this area and the offenders need to be caught and punished otherwise there is a chance that our locality will become an accident prone zone where innocent citizens will have to think before stepping out of their house third paragraph end i wrote a short uh para a short para is written that we believe that you uh, that our work will be done for them i trust and believe that you will take immediate step to improve the situation again leave line and then you have to thank them in advance that my work will be done thanking you in anticipation end it with a comma at the end leave one line and then write the last part that is the subscription yours faithfully then comma is at the end kiran shah as i wrote over here kiran shah you also need to write at the end kiran shah so children this is the way how we need to write a formal letter just go through it once nicely the way i have written it very neatly so children i hope so you all have understood today's formal letter and hope to see you all in my next video till then bye take care god bless you all